at minimum I need five minutes of pure nothingness to boost my concentration levels. It might be just taking a simple cat nap. Or just simply focusing on doing nothing. Removing all aspects of the day, past and present. just looking into the nothingness it can be quite hard in these very busy times to achieve the state of nothingness doing nothing thinking of nothing and being nothing five minutes out of your day just for you to do nothing taking that time to really relax into the nothingness state thinking of each muscle each ligament each brain cell fading into the nothingness state So as you start to come back into yourself, take a brief moment to start thinking about the something state as you start to prepare your mind and your body to get ready for the something state. What it is that you're planning to do next? Is it simply taking the trash out, washing your cat, piece of work that you've planned to do, whatever state that it is in the something state, start to prepare your mind and your body for it now. Tell each muscle, each ligament, each brain cell, it's time to get ready for that something state. I'm preparing my mind now in readiness to play some chess. I'm going to be playing some bullet chess, some blitz chess, some rapid chess and some long play chess. So that's my something state. I appreciate the nothingness that I've just gone through. Five minutes of pure concentration of nothing. Prepare to be revitalized, energized and ready to do your something. Uh, two minute bullets, like we said, 
So we're revitalized. We're ready to go in here now. Energies are high, but don't want to go too crazy because <laughs> I might be in a relaxed state as well. But feeling good. And like we said, we'll play a blitz one after this and then a rapid warm. And a standard play. So just going to take, going to simplify, simplify, just uh, bring this across here. The pawn is being taken. And what we want to do is bring the knight up. Let's bait some pawns. Let's capture. Let's attack. Right, and just develop the rook. Do a bit of waiting now. Yep, so that's all they're going to do. But we can attack the bishop. So the bishop's gone offline for some strange reason. It's probably looking to target here. And let's attack the knight. Oh, let's take the knight. Let's get the queen in the game. It's chomping at the bit with this bishop on this diagonal. We've got them thinking, so it's now tactics time, isn't it? Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Let's get the bishop here. Okay, let's get the queen up opposite the king. It's always a bit uncomfortable. Um, that's an interesting situation, isn't it? Um, let's go here with the queen. Potential attempts at trapping the queen. This is why they're taking so long. At least it takes their focus away from going for a checkmate. Yeah, so this small pawn move here, got to be thinking he's coming down, looking to trap the queen. If he comes here, we can't go here. We can't go, well, we can go here, but then he drops. I don't think it's too big a deal. Let's take. Let's get the knight up. Oh, before we do that, let's move the king. And, um, well, we said we can go here, didn't we? So it's not going to be too big a great thing, is it? So we go here. We're ready for whatever may come. You'd think the rook would want to use its strength somehow on this file. Maybe it's coming to here to go to here. Okay, knight could come here, looking to squish the king. That's a nice touch. Take the bishop off the board. Hmm, interesting. So, that does give me... I was, I was thinking I had something there, but it's not there anymore. Let's just bring it back. So, the opponent's caught up on time. They're still focused on trying to squish my king, which is good for me because it's taking their attention away from going for checkmate. So I'm happy. It is one second increment, so there might be an ultra bullet specialist, but I think the whole idea of I'm going to get the queen has um, taken away their winning chances. And let's push this pawn. It's got two seconds, one second. Still going for it. Let's go here. That's all he's going for is my queen. Let's bring the bishop here. Let's bring the queen down. He won't have enough time. Excellent. Okay, blitz match. Three and oh, let's develop the knight. Let's get the bishop out. A bit of castling maybe. Let's castle. Let's open up the white square bishop. Let's get the bishop out. Let's hit the bishop. Let's attack the bishop. 
Let's take potentially start harassing this pawn. Depends what they'll do. They might make space so that they can equal. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to attack. Going to take. Capture, attack the queen, attack the bishop and the pawn, take the pawn with a fork, get the rook, and attack the bishop. Ooh, well, um, I'm going to take the bishop. Knights on the bishops. Let's. Uh, we don't have enough support there, do we? Let's attack. Oh, we're giving up the pawn. Silly. Silly Billy. Let's go here. Could have a check on his king, actually, as well. Let's put the check on the king. Let's take the knight. Take the pawn. It's attacking the rook. Rook's got space to come up. Has he got a check mate on me of some sort? <laughs> I can see I can feel something in my water now actually. Now it comes here, jams us jams our king in. We have a momentary check there, but our pawn. Yeah, look, they're making their way down. Oh. Let's put the check. Get rid of the queen. Let's hit the knight. Let's hit the knight again. Push. Push. Support the pawn. Oh, no, not having cleverness now, are we? Um, okay, bring the rook back. Don't lose any time. Let's start pushing these pawns. Let's push in this pawn majority. Let's push. Let's push. Let's hit the knight. Goes back to blocking, I suppose. Yep, and push. Still blocking. Let's get the king up. Oops, king up. Interesting. Let's get the king up. He's tucking the rook. Has he got a fork on me and the king? So he's captured. Captured. Let's get the king up. Support. Push. Capture. Attack. Push. Capture. Okay, let's go. And they've resigned. Excellent.